what Inquisitor Master is like off camera. Hello everyone, it's a good day to start our new video on Inquisitor Master. As you all know that she is a well-known TikTok creator and YouTuber from the United States. Her videos and material, which are popular all around the world, help her earn public exposure. She runs the Inquisitor Master YouTube channel, which has over 5.76 million subscribers. Fascinating, isn't it? We all know Inquisitor Master on the internet, but very little about her personal life and behind the camera. Who is Inquisitor Master without the fame and celebrity look? To look more about the Inquisitor Master, watch this video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Alexandra Turan was born on May 1, 1994 in a tiny town in Mississippi. She grew up in a trailer park near a forest and a brook, where she did her studies. People, on the other hand, tease her about it. Despite the fact that she lived in the United States, her first language was Spanish, and she had no prior experience with English. Therefore, this was her biggest challenge at school. In third grade, she would be given coloring sheets instead of worksheets due to her limited English skills. Alex was depressed since she couldn't what do her classmates could. To make matter worse, her mother insisted that she enroll in English classes, which helped her communicate and speak the language fluently. Later in elementary school, Alex and her brother used her mother's video camera to make hilarious home movies. These videos turned out to be super cool during that age, but they were not expecting the outcome of it. Alex was nicknamed Einstein in high school for her intelligence, and she has continued to use the name Alex Einstein professionally, most notably on Cookie Run Kingdom. She became a member of a robotic club and attended a tournament in New Orleans, Louisiana, where she met and befriended other members. Alex was tormented in 11th grade for making hilarious YouTube video with her pals, so she deactivated her channel. Her YouTube video were trolled and she was bullied for it. She felt it's the right decisions to delete her channel until she started one later after years. Inquisitor Master has faced criticisms in the past for focusing the majority of her roleplay videos on online dating, which is against Roblox's regulations. Green Lego Cats 123, for example, has posted rants about her on YouTube. However, these videos have since been removed due to abuse and harassment. When Alex was in 11th grade, she started her YouTube account. She used to make funny movies with her buddies on that channel. Even though they didn't get famous, they had a good time filming. Her parents intended for her to become a teacher or a doctor after she graduated, but she had it in her head that she wanted to do film and perform. They subsequently relocated to Texas, where college was too expensive. She began working in order to save money for a good laptop and camera. After years, she returned to YouTube after making her move. She knew it's going to work well. She had a lot of fun at first, but she quickly ran out of ideas after a few videos. She wanted to engage her subscriber into her YouTube with more quality content. She formerly dated YouTube contributor Marcus Henderson. Aside from that, there is no information on her rumors or scandal. Inquisitor Master avoids rumor and controversy in order to protect her reputation. Who is Inquisitor Master's boyfriend? She is a straight woman who has not yet married. There is, however, no proof of her involvement in any of the stories or relationships. Aside from that, she is very quiet about her personal life. Furthermore, in 2017, she began dating Zachary Todd, better known on YouTube as Zachary Zaxor. She began her YouTube career by playing various games with Jade, Drake, Jax, Alex, Light, Charlie, Zach, September, Sora, Levi Make, and Luca the Squad, who frequently appears in Inquisitor Master's video also, but she has since focused on Among Us and other Roblox games. In 2021, she was chastised one more for her Back to School Collections merch designs, which were compared to Afmao and It's Funny. Warden James LLC was in charge of shop with Misa, Afmao, and Crew District, according to several Funnies fans. Inquisitor Master is one of those girls that despises being single. She keeps her personal life private, but she does reveal some facts about her relationships. She dated another YouTuber, Marcus Peterson, for a long time before they broke up, and she's now seeing Zach Todd, who is also a YouTuber. It is extremely common for social media personalities to date other well-known social media personalities because it is such a unique way of life and they can better understand each other. Inquisitor Master and Zach are currently co-owners of the Zalix YouTube channel, where they also post gaming videos. It turned out to be a super hit and made into the top sensational talk over the social media place. 
People continuously question more about this in every possible way. Alex's ex-boyfriend is Zach. Zach and Alex were together from November 2017 until 2021, when their romance came to an end. In some films, they are at odds with each other, while in others, they express their love for each other through gifts and, of course, their affection. The two of them, along with Jade, are known as the Lovebirds Bundle. They even calls him Zachy Poo, which irritates him. Additionally, Alex claimed that Zach had cheated on her in an Instagram story, which could indicate that their relationship is over. Alex has also revealed that she organized all of the dates, expressing her wish for her relationship to be like this. Could imply that the two of you are working together. Inquisitor Master is not always lonely. It's said that she was behaving in a certain way that shows she acts being lonely. She tries to act in a certain way that gains people's attentions towards her and tries to make fake scenarios where she made people look at her more empathetic. It has shown that she is an introvert in most of her videos, but there are just some attentions game and for empathy. She supposedly isolates her and shows herself as an introvert. She believes that classifying herself as an introvert will make people think she is wiser than she actually is. She wanted to be a part of a society of educated people who study a lot and dislike social events because it will set them apart from the herd of sheep who can think for themselves and just worry about fun. She usually sees the world in black and white, introverts and extroverts, and believes that being an introvert or at least claiming to be one is the better, smarter, or more edgy option. Remember that while strongly identifying with one label is cool now. Being multidimensional or simply figuring out her personality and behavior without a general label. She is more arrogant and tries to behave and act like a sweet person. Her YouTube videos contains controversy about people who are fat and she seems to be more arrogant for the video and she refused to reply. There's also a few running around the social media that Inquisitor Master uses more makeup and always uses filters while interacting with people. She seems more fake in social media than in reality. There are many controversies over a comment that she is a racist and she even made an apology video containing racial comments. She was identified as a racist in her past and she has thrown huge statements in various videos of her own. Once, she posted a YouTube video saying how much she loves her fans and subscribers, she expressed her love and gratitude for her fans, and how much they mean to her. But later that video turned out to be a talk of the town. People start bashing her for the video. They made comments on her video, both negative and positive. It created various controversies among the fellow gamers as well as the fans. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned with us for more exciting videos. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon to never miss updates from us.